Welcome to ESL's Go for SC2 number 47 or number 45. Wow, that was terrible. Oh my god. This is ESL's Go for number or Go for SC2 number 45 finals sponsored by Steel Series. I'm your caster Kessel and today we are going to have a game between Dark Forts who's going to be spawning as the Blue Zerg at the top left and he's going to be playing against Braddock, the ferocious Russian who's going to be spawning as the Red Terran at the top right. And this is going to be on a map that I'm not very familiar with actually. This is Shakur's Plateau. And it looks like this map, I've only played on this map once or twice and I did very badly and that's because I played against the Zerg and I am very bad ZVZ in general. But this is a TVZ so we're going to see a little bit different dynamic going on here. There is two, they are going to spawn right next to each other and as you can see there are rocks over here and here. And if this, these rocks are destroyed, this is going to bring out a very easy access for Dark Force or Bradhawk. And looks like Bradhawk is starting, uh, is going to start walling off with his supply depot, waiting to just get enough for that barracks. And he is going to wall off with that barracks. It looks like those that Overlord is moving towards Bradhawk's base right now. It looks like a scouting drone going all over the place to check where Bradhawk is, but he isn't going in the right direction. At least he does have that Overlord going in the right direction and it looks like dark force this time not opt or maybe opting to get that early hatchery again and it looks like he is moving that hat that uh that hat bleh, 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 that drone over to that expansion over here to build a hatchery and it looks like that barracks is almost done and it looks like dark force has finally spotted where braddock is and braddock has moved his own scouting scv over to find where braddock or where dark force is Dark Force just getting a sp spawning pool right now. Orbital Command being morphed out and looks like an early refinery being built. Marines getting built right now to destroy that drone, but that drone is going to get away. Marines continuing getting built. No tech going on. It might be another factory this time again for Braddock. And Braddock is finishing his wall off with that supply depot. Meanwhile, Dark Force is getting that extractor right now. And Braddock has located where Dark Force is. So both players are going to be having a very interesting time here. Because they both know they spawning right next to each other. And this short distance could mean very big trouble for both players. Mostly for Braddock because he did wall off over here and looks like that fractory is going off for Braddock. Meanwhile, uh, that SCV is going to get pushed out by that drone and that hatchery is just finishing. And it looks like Braddock is starting to move out with a couple Marines to try and put on some early pressure. A couple leans coming out though, so he is going to be able to push out any Marine harass. And it looks like those Marines are actually going to be content with just standing over here next to Zelnaga Watchtower. Meanwhile, another Marine coming up, and it looks like that factory is almost done. It looks like Braddock has pulled all of his miners from refi the refinery into minerals, so it looks like more Hellions coming up. It looks like speed going up for Dark Force, so it looks like a very similar game, but on a very different map. And it looks like Braddock is getting that command center, too. He does have a couple Marines on the ramp. It looks like those Zerglings are going to try and take out one of these Marines. They do manage to take out one, but they do lose one Zergling, but that is not... A bad trade, honestly. Half the resources for uh, for killing off a full marine isn't bad, but now Braddock has that Hellion, and those Hellions are dangerous against links with or without the pre-igniter. It looks like Dark Force content to hide a couple of these Zerglings over here behind the grass. The Hellion is going to move her on top of the Zell Wanaga Watchtower and spot whatever. It looks like that Overlord is going to get shot down by the Zelnaga watch the Hellion, the Marines over here, and because this, they got sight from the Hellion, it looks like the Hellion is going to try and push in some more, but that Hellion is going to get reinforced by Marines, and now we're going to see in the same position, but Dark Force this time getting a spine crawler. so this is going to be a little bit different from last time, looks like two more barracks coming up again for Braddock, so he's going a very similar build he went in game one, this is game two by the way, if I did not mention this, which I probably didn't, and it looks like Braddock is starting to wall off at least with one supply depot over at the rocks over here. Meanwhile, those barracks are getting built. Hellions are getting trained. And Marines are getting trained. And if Dark Force has learned anything, he might go Banelings a little bit earlier this time. But instead, he is going to keep on going with Speedlings. Getting a ton of Speedlings. So this could be very bad. But this time, Braddock is a little bit more cautious. He is wondering what is going on. 
and Dark Force's base. He doesn't know if these rocks have been destroyed or not. He knows his is intact still, but he does not know if Braddock or if Dark Force is going to have a back attack over here. And it looks like Braddock very careful, trying to keep all his forces very close together in his base to make sure that nothing goes on that he doesn't want to go on, at least. He doesn't want these rocks destroyed, that's for sure. And it looks like those lings are going to start moving out, but they are going to just be content to guard, mostly against Hellions. More spine crawlers coming up, and it looks like more drones. Dark Force com starting to really saturate it. Braddock also getting his natural saturated, and he is getting one gas out. It looks like an engineer rate has gone up, and he, Braddock is opting to destroy the rocks over here this time. So it looks like Braddock is okay with destroying these rocks. Meanwhile, Dark Force hasn't really touched these rocks at all. So we might actually see Braddock take advantage of the map. And it looks like a couple Hellion just sitting at the Zelnaga Watchtower, making sure nothing really goes on. And it looks like one links for Dark Force here at the other one on the other side. Their attack has been researched, and it looks like a starport is going up, a reactor going up on the barracks over here, and it looks like more marines being trained. A tech lab did go up, and he is training Stim out of that tech lab. Meanwhile, starport just finishing up, and he is getting a couple Maddox. He isn't training any more Hellions, and it looks like Braddock finally destroying those rocks over here, and he is getting infantry weapons level 1 also. Dark Force does have his gas fully mined or has natural in his main and it looks like it might be a very gas intensive yes he is getting that spire over in the corner and it looks like Braddock did not scan that spire but marines are still very very good against mutilus so especially with stem and medivacs so we're gonna see an interesting game and it looks like a bangling's nest also going up for dark force and it looks like Braddock not going so much uh so siege tanks this time going a very heavy marine marauder build it looks like he, or a very just a very heavy marine composition this could be really bad it looks like braddock is going to start moving out over here to spot but there is an overlord lord over on the corner over here. he's going to be able to spot these marines and those marines try to shoot down at least one overlord and it looks like braddock is going to start moving out and try destroying these rocks over here this could be real trouble because Dark Force doesn't really have any forces over here. And a couple Banelings could do some real good. The Banelings are just coming out and a couple Mutas are just popping out. And now the Banelings are starting to get warped out. Those rocks are getting killed really, really fast. And those Medivacs are going to stop dropping right inside Braddock's base. A couple Marines over here getting taken out. With those Hellions being able to snipe off several of these Marines from the low ground. And it looks like those Mutas are going to be able to push that last marine away but those rocks did go down and now Braddock is starting to push in he does have stem so those banelings are going to be a bit slower and those banelings are going to start moving in but now those hellings are blocking the way and oh man those banelings are just not fast enough Braddock managed to keep most of his marines alive oh a couple do go down and oh man this could be bad oh marines just, there are still four marines left they are stemmed up but more leaks are coming in and it looks like oh marines are finally going to go down and that medevac barely surviving but that medevac trying to chase him but more marines coming in from braddock he is just reinforcing like crazy dark force getting more banglings over here getting that centrifugal hook to try and get that speed on and those links are going to get start getting sniped out those banglings are in serious trouble if they don't get somehow oh man one more bangling and there is one banging left but the links managing to take out most of these forces and now spine crawlers are moving up from the from uh from dark force over here and he did get an expansion while this was all happening so now braddock could be in serious trouble yeah blocking his uh his ramp off completely now he both players know this is always a viable option and those rocks have been destroyed but siege tanks did finally come out i don't think nope siege tech hasn't been finished yet and it looks like infantry weapon or infantry armor level one getting researched right now. A couple FCVs moving up, possibly to build some bunkers, possibly to scout. We shall see though. Those SCVs are starting to move up, but Dark Force does have a spine crawl over here, so they're gonna start poking away at those SCVs. One of them do go down, and the other one is probably going to barely survive. 
and there are a lot of families over here and they do have the speed now so they could have an advantage but Braddock switching up his tech going uh, still going Marines but he is getting a couple siege tanks as well to counter that Baneling and a couple mutas flying over here to see if they can do any damage over here but there are missile turrets up and there is a bunker over here so Brad or Dark Force isn't going to re really be able to do anything with those mutas other than probably snipe in out a couple of these units. It looks like another command center going up in the expansion. SCV does manage to go down. Missile turrets going up for Braddock over here. And a couple of medivacs flying over here with a couple of marines. And it looks like those mutas are going to get pushed away. The SCV has died, so he's going to be able to need to send another SCV, which he does. And now there are marines blocking off that area. It looks like a couple drops going down over here, and that medivac does try does lose one of its marines more mutas trying to take out these marines but these marines are very strong especially with stem and those medivacs reinforcing them oh again dark force almost losing one of the mutas over here and he did try and attack the rocks over here if he attacks there are a lot of choke points around here that are blocked by rocks and it looks like braddock continuing to build that command center and he's going to be able to finish that relatively easily but now there are a large force of links and bane links so this could be bad for braddock and it looks like someone who was watching the game has left i assume either from disconnect or just being bored i guess but who could possibly get bored at starcraft 2 well maybe your girlfriend but we're not going to go into that infestation pit is going up and it looks like more links coming up and another hatchery, another expansion going up in the main at the bottom left. But it looks like those marines are going to spot them. And he's going to start taking them out with these stemmed up marines. And Braddock could be in... Braddock might be able to... Oh man, he's going to be able to take out that... Uh, take out that hatchery relatively easy. But links are coming in to reinforce. And that hatchery almost goes down. And it does go down. But now, oh, those marines are going to be able to get away. One of the marines managed to die off. And now... Braddock sacrificing one Marine at a time to try and take out as many of these Banelings as possible. And those Lings are not going to be able to do anything. More Mutas coming out and it looks like Dark Force is getting a large amount of Mutas now. And he's getting another expansion over here in the natural for the bottom right. And Dark Force getting macroed up really well. But Braddock also has three bases and it looks like Dark Force is going to rebuild that hatchery over here. He is going to... Oh, Dark Force also getting Hive Tech right now. Meanwhile, oh man, there is a large force of Marines in Siege Tank. And they're going to take advantage of that short distance. That Overlord is going to spot them. But that amount of Marines and uh, Marines and Siege Tanks, this could be real trouble. But uh, but oh, Braddock has a lot of links. He has a lot of Bane links too. So if they can get proper positioning, they could have an advantage over here. A couple Mutas getting sniped out by a couple Marines. And now... Braddock is all up in Dark Force's base. One Siege Tank does manage to get down, and now Braddock attempting to split his forces, but that is a lot of er, er, Banelings and a lot of Links, and they're going to be able to come in and easily take out most of these Siege Tanks and those Banelings trying to get in. And they, oh man, Dark Force now losing all of these forces. This could be really bad. Braddock also losing the medevac, and now he does have a lot of missile turrets, though. So, but. Dark Force is macroing up like crazy, and he is getting a lot of links now. He's getting another hatchery over here to replace the one that was destroyed. And Dark Force does have one, two, three, four, five. And this is the way to play Zerg, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you play. You macro up like crazy and hope to God you build enough units to outbuild uh, the, your opponent. But Braddock getting a couple drops over here. This could be really annoying. Braddock keeping up with his drops but he does see the lings over here and he is going to stem up try and take out as many of these as possible more bang lings getting morphed in more lings getting morphed in and dark force does have control of the skies but those missile turrets are going to prevent any damage